One of the most ruthless Hispanic gangs that pledges allegiance to the Mexican Mafia is called The Avenues. Here in Highland Park, a northeast LA neighborhood, the Avenues gang has waged a campaign of terror against innocent black residents since 1994. With an army of 800 soldiers, the Avenues aim to rid the multi-ethnic community of its black population. Avenues gang members thought it was inappropriate that an African American could just walk around their neighborhood. They would uh, pistol whip African Americans and they would shoot at them. These attacks turned deadly on the night of April 18, 1999. As 38-year-old Kenneth Wilson parked his car outside a friend's home, a van full of Avenues members rolled by. One of the Avenue gang members saw Mr. Wilson, uh, turned to the other members in the van and said, hey, there's a you guys want to kill. The Avenues opened fire on Wilson, blasting him with rounds from a 12-gauge shotgun and a semi-automatic handgun. One of the gang members ran back into the vans and he had always wanted to test out the gun and that was a good way to do it. In October 2000, Highland Park resident Christopher Bowser, a father of four with no gang affiliation, filed a complaint against an Avenues member for jumping him. It was not Bowser's first run-in with the Avenues. He'd been regularly chased by gangbangers and shot at. They flashed guns at him. They said, get out of the neighborhood, go down to South Central where you belong, uh, leave this territory. A month later, the Avenues paid Christopher Bowser back for filing the police report. While standing at a bus stop in Highland Park in broad daylight, he was shot in the head. He was assassinated for the color of his skin, uh, as well as, quite frankly, standing up to the Avenue's gang members. Around that same time, 21-year-old student Anthony Prudhomme moved into an apartment in Highland Park. His mother, Louisa, wasn't aware of the gang problem there. He was happy, happier than I'd ever seen him when he was independent. He got to do what he wanted to do. No more mom nagging him or anything, you know? On November 3rd, 2000, Avenue's gunman kicked down his door in the middle of the night. Prudhomme's neighbor heard it all unfold. He heard Anthony shouting, I swear to God, I don't have any money. I swear to God. He said he didn't hear a gunshot or anything. He just heard a couple of thumps, like thump, thump. One of the gunmen shoved a pillow over Prudhomme's head and fired into it twice. We had no idea about how vicious the gangs were down there. They'll shoot people in their bed, unarmed. And that's that whole culture. That whole culture is, is to kill and to, to, to hurt, destroy, because it, what, it's insane. That's what it is. Police eventually arrested Avenue's gang member Porfirio Avila and charged him with the murders of Wilson, Prudhomme, and Bowser. They also arrested three other Avenue's members in connection with the murders. In August 2006, a jury convicted all four gangbangers of violating a federal hate crime statute in a landmark verdict. The men were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The racially motivated murders in Highland Park reflected the growing trend in many black and Hispanic neighborhoods throughout LA. As Hispanic gangs expand their territory and power, they're targeting innocent blacks to drive them out. I'm not going to condemn them for it because...